Many people think that retinal detachments are associated with trauma being hit in the eye. That's actually not the commonest cause of retinal detachment at all. Most retinal detachments happen to people who are in their 60s or 70s or older, and it usually happens because of a posterior vitreous detachment. A posterior vitreous detachment is where the vitreous, the jelly in the eye, peels away from the retina. If, it, if there is a spot or a patch or an area in which the vitreous is attached more t firmly to the retina than it should be, that pulling can cause a tear in the retina. And if you get a tear in the retina, you may see new flashes, you may see new floaters, and then if you're unlucky, which often is the case unfortunately, uh, fluid can go through the tear in the retina, behind the retina, and strip it off. Generally, retinal detachments continue to progress and can blind you. When retinal detachments first start, people just usually see either flashes or floaters, but as the retina gets stripped off, they begin to notice there's a patch of their vision in any particular direction, doesn't matter which, like a shadow that slowly moves towards the center. It's very important to pick this up before it gets to the center. You remember that the macula is the central part of the retina. If the macula is detached, in other words, it's a macula off retinal detachment, then however successful the surgery, however promptly it's performed, the, the treatment for retinal detachment, that is, that person will never regain perfectly normal vision again. Whereas if we catch the retinal detachment before it's got to the center, then there's a very good chance that we can preserve that patient's vision long term. As, as with flashes and floaters, if you see a new shadow coming across your vision, it's very important you see urgently.